what's up? So the reason there hasn't been a video for a while is because I've been in Eng week. Been uh, studying my ass off, trying to understand things and push through all the tests. And I hope you enjoy catching up with me. So you guys keen for this cars test? Super keen. Yeah. Just go through the algorithms, then we'll be good. Yeah, do something interesting, man. I still need to learn that, damn. Hey, good morning. Look how much food I've got. Bananas, apples, potatoes. Whew, I went shopping yesterday for the fruit, but when I came back to res, I brought back all the veggies. Oof. Now that it's Eng Week, I need to do a bit of meal prep and that. Not going to physics this morning, because that guy is... Mm. Eng Week starts only officially on Saturday, but I have my first semester test this evening, cause... And uh, it's going to be a very interesting week because everything's mushed together. I'm still behind on a few subjects and uh, Infinity War still has me a bit depressed. Goodness gracious. Great movie, but wow, that ending. I enjoyed Thanos as a villain. He wasn't just this evil megalomaniac guy. He had some interesting backstory. He had some motivation. And he was quite a sympathetic, intelligent dude. I don't think I've actually done it yet. But today I'm going to give a quick summary of all the modules that I'm doing this semester. Because I keep on mentioning the abbreviations, but uh, these are the different subjects that I'm taking this semester. To start with, I have COS 132, which is a basic programming course. We do the C++ programming language, how to use input and output to the command line. Uh, we do a whole lot of stuff to do with strings, all the basics, learning about if, else statements, loops, conditions. Uh, I'm just scrolling through my summary here. All the different uh, types of variables you can use, all basic, basic computer science stuff, arrays, and then we do basic search and sort algorithms, which is in my test today. This is a past paper that I'm busy doing. And then pointers, pointers which is memory addressing, which is apparently quite important in the later computer science modules, and we're doing the basics of it now. So, not too hard, I enjoy COS, and uh, I do alright in it, and wish me luck for the semester test this evening. The easiest module that I have is HAS 110. It's basically a social sciences course that all the engineers have to take. And it's really easy because we just go to lectures and they go over a whole lot of different topics. Some about um, history, some about medicine in the country, South Africa. Like we had a lecture on AIDS, on the nature of a state. All interesting, weird, abstract uh, concepts. And then in the tests, we just have to write a few essays about it and the impact it can have on the world, supposedly to develop our understanding of engineering. Oh, just got back from the Haz lecture. I also have to do physics, which is pretty similar to high school physics actually, but there's a lot more friction and you don't consider things in vacuums, you consider things with friction. And the quantities that they use for symbols more, so are more complicated and difficult than high school and so you got to learn them all but it's all right i'm doing all right we do like angular velocity and momentum which is a bit more complicated than the stuff we did in high school just you know newton's laws and basic linear motion now we're doing you know three sometimes four dimensions which is a bit harder and i haven't mastered center of mass yet but overall physics is pretty fun and not too difficult in first year back at the studying. It's quarter to three now and my test is at half past five, so I've still got a while to go. But I think we are going to be riding to our test in the rain. Or at the very least, coming back in the rain. Damn, man, it's nearly winter. I thought we were done with rain. But I'm just going through my different sorts and searches for computer science. I'm busy looking at the selection sorts at the moment. So I just gotta remember that it's two nested for loops and an if statement and then some other stuff at the end, the other ones I've got. But yeah, going all right. Today's quote is one that I've really come to identify with since coming to Varsity, and it's by Hideaku Anno, and it says, you're an idiot, study harder. And I can really relate to this now that I've come to Varsity. In high school, I thought it was kind of clever, you know, kind of smart, it was okay. But now that I'm here and I've uh, met all the incredibly smart people at Village and at Varsity doing engineering, that are just so, so smart and just have such good perspectives of the world and things going on and just grasp the content that I'm battling with so easily. I mean, they also put in the work, but still, you're an idiot. Study harder. Can totally relate. Got so much more to learn. Only nearly nearing the end of one semester and got four years of two semesters each. Um, 
So there's a long way to go just before I'm finished the university degree. And even then, after that, reading, lifelong learning never stops. And it's very daunting looking at it from the bottom of the mountain. But I'm excited. These are my dirty dishes. I've got a continuing contest with myself to see how many days I can go without washing them. My record is four and a half. Uh, I had to reuse a whole lot of plates and even some forks just had to wash when I needed them. But uh, yeah, going on two days now, going strong. Still got two plates, two bowls. I'll make it to five yet. I do believe I predicted rain earlier. And guess what? It's raining. It is the 3rd of May, man. One month and we're in the middle of winter. Climate change, people. Climate change. I'm getting all of Cape Town's rain. I gotta get a campus still. I got a rain cut. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for Eng Week? <laughs> what kind of type of question is that? <laughs> a scared one? Yeah, I'm not ready either. The hardest subject that I have at the moment is EBN, my circuits introductory module, where we do all the basics of circuit analysis and theoretical stuff like op amps and conductance and inductance. Just really been battling with it because it's very finicky. I have no idea what EBN stands for. I know it's Afrikaans, so it's something like electricity, something, something. But uh, I'm starting to master it a bit more. I mean, I got 28% for the test, class test yesterday, but that was small mistakes. That I'm going to rectify in the coming weeks, especially with a trip to the assistant lecturer's office. Are you ready for cars? A bit nervous, I must say. Yeah, I'm nervous too. Do you want to write a test for me? No, I don't think I want to write it for myself. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. You yes. too. Smash it. Are you keen, bruh? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. How's my name? Hey, let's see the textbook. Are you keen, bruh? Oh, oh, Every time it does that. Yeah. Wait, do you have it? What? Are you keen? What is this? Good luck, James. How was it? Oh my god. How was it? How was it for you? Uh, it was good, eh? I thought it was pretty dope. Yeah. It did pretty well, I think. And you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's There's a pause. <laughs> Let's go back. For you? It was more complicated than the first one. Oh yeah, the point is in that the memory allocation makes it far more complicated, but you gotta keep track of what's like wanting to watch. Two questions, that's the thing. Oh yeah. It's cold now though, eh? Just got back from my cos test. It was uh, pretty good actually. I think I did better than I did in the last one, which I got like 64% for, I'm hoping. I needed to bring up my average. It wouldn't, it wasn't easy, but it was definitely doable if you knew your stuff, which I did. So that's great. Chris and I are gonna go for a run now. Can't film it because it's too dark outside. Oh, these evening tests. It's 8 o'clock now. I'm very hungry, but always got to get the run in. Oh, just got back from a run. It was great with Chris. I said man is smart. We had a great talk the entire way around the sports campus. Uh, whenever I talk to Chris, bro, I know you're probably watching. I always feel better about the degree, about myself, about my choices in life. And uh, just discussing things with a really smart guy. And a really ambitious guy motivates me. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. How's the MGC going, guys? It's, it's rough. It's rough. You're struggling. Uh, too much, bro. Technical drawing. Hey, Mitch. Hey, bro. My dinner's ready. Ooh, just had a quick unit meeting with everyone from all well, the first years from my block, just to discuss some things Tux Village wants us to know and that. Ooh, that's hot! Um, and we got off to a good start today with cars. It's a good auspicious sign that it rained as well. But yeah, I am uh, eating some quiche, potatoes, and gem squash tonight. And uh, gonna do some EBN studying. I forgot to mention it earlier, but the last subject I do is WCW158 or Viskunda and Tulkabast of Viskunda or Maths and Applied Maths. It's the introductory calculus module that all the engineers have to take and if you've done AP Maths in matric it's really good 
it's really easy actually because it's a lot of rehashing the stuff but I didn't do AP math so a lot of it's new stuff but just basic uh, derivations uh, differentiation integration vectors um, and a whole lot of proofs and that to do with basic calculus which we're going to use for all our maths modules in the future so like finding min and maxes of graphs drawing graphs uh, finding functions from graphs finding uh, graphs from functions. I'm actually doing really well at maths at the moment. We have a great lecturer, thanks Prof Harding, and uh, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Yeah, good night.